Hi guys, Sam here from Adreno Sydney. Today we're going to look at rigging up a shaft for a closed muzzle spear gun. Uh, we're going to need some crimps, some mono. These obviously need to match. So we've got 1.8 crimps and 1.8 mil mono. We're going to need a lighter, scissors and crimping pliers. So I like to start by putting the spear into the gun. This will give us a, a reference point so we can measure our crimping properly. We're going to take the end of the mono, slide one of our crimps on. I also like to run the line up the side of the shaft, so I'll put it to your line release. On this, the line release is actually on the bottom, so you can go either side and put mono through the shaft hole. So now we have the mono and the crimp through the shaft. We want to measure, basically before we crimp it, we need to measure and make sure that the crimp's not too close to the mech. If it sits too close, your, um, the shaft will actually jam in with the mono. But to do this, you can push the shaft in as you want it to sit. Something like that, so it's not too close to the mech. The shaft's fully engaged. We'll test that. So once we're happy with where that's sitting, we can pull the spear out again. And the next thing I'm going to do, we're going to burn a little blob on the end of the mono. Now this is just a little bit of added security in case your crimping fails. And we pull that down nice and tight to the crimp. We're going to grab our crimping pliers and these are usually marked up so there's actually a 1.8 millimeter one there. We're going to do three lots so crimping once on each end of the crimp and finally we're going to crimp right in the center to finish it off. And you should get something that looks like that. So now we're ready to start the other end. So we're going to have to run the mono back up underneath your rubber, through the muzzle. Depending on the brand of gun, muzzle will be a little bit different to this. This one has a little notch we can use to guide the mono down one side. Back to our line release. And lastly back towards the muzzle. So at this point we're going to put our last crimp on, like so, sitting about there. We're actually using a little snap clip here, just so you can disconnect your shaft if necessary. And it should get something that looks like this. And we want to pull it nice and tight. You want to keep a little bit of tension on there so it doesn't fall off the line release. Now because we're not using a muzzle bungee, we do need to get this pretty close. So I put a little kink in the mono. That stops the crimp sliding anywhere. Now we just crimp this one. Again, do each end first and then one in the middle. When doing the ends of the crimps, you just have to be really careful. You don't actually want the crimping tools over the end of the crimp, as this pushes the crimp down into the mono. And then simply just trimming off the mono. And that's how you rig a shaft. Um, for more informational videos, you can follow our YouTube channel. And for any of the gear used in this clip, come in and see us in store or you can purchase online. Spearfishing.com.au. Thanks for watching this episode of Adreno's How To Videos. If you'd like to view more videos, just click here. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button here. To purchase these products, stop in at one of our store locations in Brisbane or Sydney or visit us online at spearfishing.com.au.